Hi everyone and welcome to Monday Night Stamping. So glad you could join me tonight and I'm looking forward to sharing a new project with you. Uh, my name is Lillian um, from Stamper's Niche and I'm an independent, <coughs> pardon me, Stamping Up demonstrator coming to you from Alberta, Canada. And uh, welcome to all of you. Let us know where you're watching from. And I have a question for you. What is your go-to color for a card base. If you're creating a card and you're stuck as to what color the card base should be, what would be your go-to color? Um, I think my, I would have to say my go-to color is basic white, followed by um, basic black likely, but I do love colored card bases, but if I'm stuck um, I go to one of those two colors and I see people here from Florida and from Vancouver Island and let's uh, let's share where we're from. We haven't done that for a while and it's fun to see where everybody is, is uh, chiming in from. While you're doing that and maybe sharing your your go-to color for a card base, let's go down to my desktop and see what we're going to do tonight. So here we go, moving down there. Oh, it didn't switch. That's a nice view of my ceiling, isn't it? There we go. Here we get it all set up. Now what is in the corner here? Oh, I think I know it has to come out a ways. It's one of the, the little knobby things. And let's see if we can get that taken care of. Ah, I see somebody from BC, Fernie. So I just love how we can connect here from all over. So there we go. So just in case you're wanting to shop from my online store, you will find it here. And we have a new hostess code. So if your order is less than $200, if you use your hostess code, uh, that is uh, really helpful for me. And then, of course, we always get a card in the mail if you order from me too. So just having to share this while well, I'm sharing this to my um, Facebook group, my private group, why don't you share this video with to some friends? That would be fabulous. And there we go. That is done. So last week, this I made this card and um, this, I think, was one of the more popular cards I've made recently. So here it is. I've got the envelope behind it. So here it is here. It's a slimline card, but it's made with designer paper that was only six inches long, and we had to stretch it. So I shared how you could do that. And then this is the card we made last week with the slimline envelope that is sold by Stampin' Up! And um, I drew a name, and Irene H., this card will be coming in the mail to you this week. So how did Irene get this card? Um, she left a comment. And if all the, everybody who leaves a comment, names get put in for a draw, and then you can possibly get the card we make. So what are we making tonight? Let's just get this. There we go. Um, we are actually going to go right into the card tonight and we are going to case this card from the front of the mini catalog. Now when I first got this catalog this card caught my eye and it was on my list of ideas to case. Uh, case means copy and share everything and um, I finally got around to it. So Let's take a look-see at that. How many of you actually get ideas for your cards from the catalog? Actually, I'm going to bring that in for a minute. Do any of you case the catalog? I actually use the catalog big time as an idea book. And when I first cased this, I actually made this card here. I kept it all in white and then stamped in basic gray and used the gray classic dots. And um, I, I just thought that would be a beautiful sympathy 
card or something like that. But I did use the hexagons and I copied the design because I'm not very good at originating the design. But can you see the embossing? The embossing is done with the new basics embossing folders, the, the three that come. So let's take a look, see at the card we're going to make tonight. So we're going to sort of be like that. Um, we're going to start with a card base that is five and a half by eight and a half scored right in the middle. So it's a half a piece of thick basic white um, at four and a quarter. So when we fold it, the finished size will be five and a half by four and a quarter. So a pretty basic half sheet of cardstock card. So there we go, just like that. Then we're going to uh, have two other layers. This layer here, five by three and three quarters. So we're going to work with this here and we're going to use our silicone mat a whole lot. So to save some time, ahead of time, I uh, cut out a whole swack of hexagons and I cut them out from the, um, oh, where did it go? using the something fancy dies. So there is the hexagon in here. So this is the one I use, but we also have the beautiful, sh uh, not beautiful shapes, uh, beautiful, 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 beautiful shapes. I was right, beautiful shapes. And there are lots of hexagons in here. And then after I finish this card, we're gonna talk about, could you use another shape even too? to do this. So we're going to use this die here and we're also going to use from the same set here, we're going to use this die right here. So I'll take them out right now so that, and they're all from the something fancy, they're in the mini catalog. And they come with word stamps if you want the bundle. So I cut out a whole bunch of the hexagons. Now this hexagon is kind of interesting. If you look at it this way, it looks wonky. But if you turn it this way, it still looks kind of wonky. Keep turning it and then it looks right. So the top and bottom are a little bit longer than the sides. So it's not all equal where with the beautiful shapes they are. So I've cut them out and then I have run them through uh, the embossing folders. So I did three with with this embossing folder right here. You love the something fancy dies? I do too, Karen. They're just so versatile. So there I've got that one. And remember, these embossing folders all come in one package. Here's the next one. I always call this the golf ball one because that's what it reminds me of, especially when you look at the back. So there we've got those three. And these are 3D embossing folders, so the embossing is nice and deep. And we've got these three here, just like that. Whoops. Now, how to, how to get started? I, I'm a copier. I looked here and I thought, well, which one should I put down first? And you'll notice, it looks like they did theirs right on the card um, front, and I decided to do the layers. Um, and they maybe put theirs on dimensionals and we're not going to. Um, but I decided to start with this one right here. And the reason why is I just thought that one would be easy, easiest to um, figure out the rest of my spacing. So here are my two long sides. I'm going to rotate them and I'm going to put them on and leave just a little bit of space right there. So once you get one or two of these down, the rest go very, very easily. So you can use whatever adhesive you want, but with this deep embossing, I particularly like liquid glue. So I'm going to put it right there. And I've got a nice straight edge there. Now I'm going to put another one beside it. I think I'll use the golf ball ones. I just saw Roz say something, penny candy at the candy store, button candy. I don't recall that. Maybe that's 
that was a, an American thing. So let's, um, but maybe, maybe we had them here. Uh, maybe I just led a deprived life. And so some of you Canadians on here, do we have uh, button candy? Or did we have button candy? So now I've got those two. I can build everything off of that. And so I'm going to bring in the third design. I'm going to tuck it here. I'm just leaving, leaving a little space in between each. So I'm going to keep my adhesive towards this end. So I'm putting my fingers here to remind me only to do a bit. Now this is why the silicone mat is so nice because if I've got glue that's going to come off the edge, it's going to hit the silicone mat and just wipe off. And when it's when we're done, we'll just trim this. So there we've got it like that. Now on my next one, I am going to put it right here. Let's put some... When I was doing this uh, um, card with uh, my stamp club last week during stamping time, they just they were doing a slightly different version which I'm going to I've got that wonky there just a second where are my my wide ones there we go um I'm talking and not paying attention that's what's happening um that they really really got quiet as they were putting all the different pieces down they had so much fun so let's whoops I forgot to have a plan here so there there we go so just like that now you do not have to of course do this in white you can always uh, come up with some other ideas what what might you do it in I'm going to show you a different idea at the end but what might you use would you could you use designer paper when you're seeing this coming together what might you use to do this design and Whoops, I just gave that a little push with my smacking it down there. And we're just going to put one more on here. And we'll, then we'll call it quits because it's going to look just like the one on the catalog cover. We'll put these to the side. So now you can see, see there was one high one there, three here two here and a little piece here. Well, so we're all good to go. We're going to take that off and just like that. Um, oh, Roz is sending a photo. Uh, that's great. I'll have a look at it afterwards. We're going to trim that off and I'm going to keep that. I might use it later on. So now we've got this done and we're going to fasten it onto here. And you're going to be surprised how quickly this comes together. It's all because you don't have to think too much, right? Because the stamping up's done the design work for you. So now we've got this layer like that. Isn't that looking pretty already? Black and white DSP, yes, Bonnie, I think that would be really pretty. Now, it is your choice um, to put it on the card front flat or on dimensionals. On this one here, I put it flat. So let's try dimensionals on this one. And then we can see both versions and see what you like. So we'll put dimensionals in the corners and then a few in the middle so it doesn't sag when it goes through the mail. Just like that. And I'm just going to gently rest it until I think it's straight. That looks pretty good. So there, we've got it like that. Now you see that's got a little more dimension, so it's, it makes it a little more interesting even than this one here. So now we're going to change things up a little bit. I am going to bring in this gorgeous, gorgeous, fine shimmer paper. 
just like, can you see how shimmery it is? It is smooth. It is easy to work with. It is in the mini catalog and it come, it, the colors are Fresh Freesia, Soft Succulent and Gold. So I was thinking, well, if I did that and I brought in the Harvest dies, so I, they, they have these three here and I cut them out. So that was the harvest dyes what I used here, but that's in white. If I cut them out, which one should we use? Should we use the fresh freesia one? Or purple if you want? Or the gold one? Or should we use the soft succulent one? So which which one should we put on here? The gold, the fresh freesia, or the soft succulent? Okay, so I'm watching um, the comments and I'll see what I can see. See what I see first. Which one should I go with? Aren't they gorgeous? And so, uh, while we're doing that, I see soft succulent coming up. Okay, I see gold. There, there is the order number. Okay, we are going to go with soft succulent. That was the first one I saw. So, but don't despair. Those of you who wanted the other colors, I'm actually going to make and post the other colors this week. So we're going to put this on. We could put it on dimensionals, but I think I would like to put it right down flat because it's going to be resting on this. So I'm going to bring this back in, my silicone mat, tuck these over to the side, and just add some adhesive to where it's thicker. It, it, I don't worry about the whole thing being stuck down, but just a bit here and there, just like that. And we can move this off to the side. We're going to use it again in a minute. And I'm actually going to look at this card, which was cased right from the catalog. So we're going to put it over to this side, just like that. Isn't that paper amazing? Just love it. So then I, ahead of time, took the three different colors of ink because I knew I was going to make three cards. And here is Thinking of You in Soft Succulent. And where did I find that Thinking of You? That Thinking of You is, I found, from The Beauty of Friendship. So um, I knew I wanted something kind of long and skinny to fit in here. And I, I really thought these cards were perfect for Thinking of You or birthday or hello would have worked too. So how many of you go through your catalog or through your stamps with your dies or your punch shape and then find your words that way? A thank you would have worked too with this. So let's let's bring in thinking of you and I am going to put this on dimensionals. I could add ribbon and that kind of thing, but I'm actually going to keep this fairly simple and clean right now. I'm just looking for my mini dimensionals. Here they are. So we're going to put some on the back here. Like that. Take the backings off with my Take Your Pick tool. There we go. And now we'll just, I think it looks pretty good right about there. Let's make sure it's pretty straight before I smash it down. There. Now all that we need to do is add some embellishments. So the perfect embellishments to use with all three of these colors would have been the in-color opal rounds. But I only have one package left and they're going in a make and take kit. So I can't steal from there. So then I looked at my other embellishments and I thought, ooh, what could I use? Well, the festive pearls come in these colors here. And this one is soft succulent. So I could use that. When I'm making the fresh freesia one, 
right there, the pastel pearls would, would actually go well with that too. Or I could just use some regular kinds of um, rhinestones or pearls or whatever. We have so many choices. But I think the festive pearls are going to be perfect. And these ones here are the soft succulent ones. There we go. And we'll put oh, one here, one here, and bring one. Oh, I'll put it right there, just like that. Now, what about the inside of the card? That's always something that's important to finish off too. We have some scraps here and we actually even ended up with some extras of this. So what I did on this one is I put some of the scraps here like this and just decorated the inside like that. So let's, let's do that. So let's make a plan. So if we put this one here, we could uh, actually, I think I'm going to put this one here and I always seem to have a harder time with the inside than the outside just because I my brain doesn't think design work on the edge very well. We go like that and maybe this one could go down here. All right, if that's the case, we will get started here. So, again, we're going to be trimming it off. So we're going to put this here. We'll put it, line it right up, just like that. And now this can go like that. Silicone mat is absolutely perfect for this. And then we're going to actually keep that there. We'll just put this down here. I could trim it if I wanted, but I'm quite happy with the way it is. And like that. Now we're going to trim these off. I could have even used this down below. Your scissors might get a little sticky. So you know that you can clean your scissors with hand sanitizer, it works well, or even um, fingernail polish remover will clean that stickiness off. Or if you have goo gone or something like that, all of that will work. So let's put that over here and let's take a look at our card. Isn't that special and wonderful? Then of course you could use one of these embossing folders on the envelope flap. I just thought of that or I would have done it. So here, here is the inspiration. It's the catalog. Here is my first try, all in white. Now this would look gorgeous in vanilla too, I think. Um, here is what we made tonight. And now let me just share what we made during our stamp club. We reversed the colors and went with black on the bottom and then used the um, In the Wild, In the Wild, something, something wild, designer paper, cut the hexagons out. They are assembled exactly the same way as I did here, but I just used designer paper. So there was no uh, embossing. After I made this card, I realized I wished I had embossed this. And so my stamp club members did do that. They embossed it with this one right here and it looked gorgeous. So there you go. There is just like that. Now, some of you might be saying, I don't have a hexagon. I can't make this card. Well, you can be inspired by this and use a shape that you do have. So just in case you needed a little help thinking that through, I better put some white paper underneath this so you can see. Um, I cut out some circles. So if you don't have circles, I also cut up some squares because with a paper trimmer, you can cut squares, right? So let's see, if we were to, um, to do what we just did, 
we could start and I'm going to follow the same pattern but you can see how it's starting to come together and I'm not going to do the whole card but you can see you can start to create the same thing so if you have the squares how about with the circles let's start here this one would go off I like to start this one because then I, I know this one's going to go off and I like it going off. Um, so there we go. And I must have cut out more circles than I did squares. So there you, you can see that you can use any kind of shape and start to follow that same kind of pattern and then end up with a gorgeous, gorgeous card no matter what color your card base is. So here are the cards that I was sharing right now. And I really hope that you enjoy it and that you try this technique. There's, there's, I think it just could explode and become all kinds of things. I am actually making this one here. I've got this and then I've got these two. I'm gonna make into cards as well. I'm all ready to go. And that is, I'm going to bundle them up as a gift for somebody. So perfect for that as well. So hope that inspires you and that you go have some fun with your hexagons. All right. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.